You know, for Seth Rogen to liken this to Nazi propaganda is ridiculous uh, because it does show the, the, the demons that all veterans come home uh, that they carry with them. And Chris carried them, you know, obviously, like I said, when he made those shots, when he did those things, he was doing it to save lives. But it also showed the heavy burden that comes with fighting our nation's wars. And that's something I think neither Michael Moore nor Chris Rogan could ever understand. That was a former Navy SEAL and friend of Chris Kyle. Now speaking out after comments by Seth Rogen and Michael Moore ignited debate over the movie American Sniper. It's a huge hit across the country. The movie tells the story of the most lethal sniper in U.S. history and the personal struggles as well that Chris Kyle faced after he came home. Both Rogen and Moore have tried to clarify the following comments. These are the original comments. First, Seth Rogen tweeted, American Sniper kind of reminds me of the movie that's showing in the third act of Inglorious Bastards, which... Uh, uh, is a Nazi propaganda film. Michael Moore tweeted, my uncle killed by sniper in World War II. We were taught snipers were cowards. We'll shoot you in the back. Snipers aren't heroes and invaders are worse, he said. Leslie Marshall is a syndicated radio talk show host and a Fox News contributor. Kevin Jackson is the executive director of the Black, the Black Sphere and author of Race Pimping, the Multi-Trillion Dollar Business of Liberalism. Welcome uh, to both of you. I'm going to uh, read their clarifications in just a moment, but just your initial reaction to this, Kevin, first. What do you think? Well, to, to, to give credit to Jay Redmond, the Navy SEAL who went through 37 surgeries and fighting for this country, and his, his comment about Seth, I think he was spot on. But I think the other side of it is it's a little bit of jealousy on the part of Hollywood. Here's a film being made about a true American hero, doesn't have to be fantasized the way Hollywood does it, grosses through the roof, and you've got Michael Moore, Seth Rogen, who's come off of a film that with all the hype, still, I, I haven't seen it, I don't think many Americans saw it, and Michael Moore hasn't made a good film, in my opinion, ever. So I think there's a bit of Hollywood jealousy that, that comes along with that. Mm. Leslie, what do you think? Well, Kevin, being that I'm sitting 20 minutes from Hollywood, this is a Hollywood film. Clint Eastwood is a part of Hollywood, even though he's a Republican and uh, has held such an office. Uh, this is a Hollywood film, and it's made a lot of money, and that Hollywood loves when films make money. It, it's not, it's oh, not, really? I, look, I've seen the film, I've, I've read the book. This is not about a war. This is about the struggles of a soldier, this particular soldier and quite frankly speaks to as bradley cooper said uh the struggle that all soldiers go through but soldiers do fight for the freedom for people like seth rogan and michael moore to say things that may not be palatable uh to everyone whether it's you kevin or other military or other navy seals that's part of uh the deal here would they fight for our freedom and the first amendment now, applies to everyone that even if you don't agree with right, it. Let, they, let me just, they, I want to get exactly up here right. the, uh, the uh, responses that they tried to clarify. And I wonder if they saw the movie in between the first tweet and the second tweet. I don't know the answer to that. But here's uh, from <laughs> Seth Rogen. I just said, he said, I just said something kind of reminded me of something else. I actually liked American Sniper. It just reminded me of the Tarantino scene, he clarifies. And then let's see from Michael Moore. He says, hmm, I never tweeted one word about American Sniper, sl sniper slash Chris <laughs> Kyle. I said my un uncle killed by Sniper in World War II. Only cowards would do that to him uh comma others so you know clearly there's a little right. bit of, of backpedaling uh going on here you know but it is interesting you know there seems to be a reluctance to applaud these kinds of movies and you know sort of that's a, exactly a, a right feeling that it's you know sort of middle america the heartland that really digs this kind of movie and um hollywood isn't all that comfortable with the success of this movie or even zero dark 30 there was discussion about that movie when it came out as well so you, you know i i, I no, think they're uncomfortable it. with this success you're right, Martha. That, that's exactly it. And Leslie can talk about what Hollywood likes. Hollywood likes to make movies, but they don't like when the narrative doesn't fit what they like. And so when a m movie mm. is this madly successful, wow. you know what it says? It says that America loves the American spirit. America loves heroes. America loves guys like Chris Kyle because they understand what they go through. Michael Moore couldn't pass sniper training. Would you like to see Michael Mudd go through Navy SEAL buds? I would. That would be a movie I'd watch. <laughs> <gasps> Leslie, final comment? Uh, again, uh, Kevin, you're, you, you, we have to speak about the reality. This was financed by Hollywood. This was distributed by Hollywood. They want it to succeed. There are always, with, with uh, Lone Survivor, with Zero Dark at 30, is it? Uh, there, there are people that are anti-war that come they out. But remember, Navy this, is, this, is based, this, is based in, this is based in Iraq. And a lot of people after the fact, 
uh, uh, look at the polls, did not support the invasion of a sovereign nation. Also, anti-gun groups are going to be like that. Right, I'm a it, liberal. As we've said I think quite it's clearly. An wait a minute, Kevin. Wait a minute, Kevin. I'm a liberal. Me. I think it's an excellent film, and numerous liberals feel that way, not just uh, inside the Hollywood Beltway. Right. we got to leave it there. Thank you so much, you guys. Leslie, Kevin, good to see you as always.